ChatGPT just released all its features to its free users and I tested the free version against the paid version and the results may shock you. So OpenAI sent out this email 14 hours ago and in it they state that today GPTs in the store are now available to all ChatGPT users allowing more than 100 million weekly active users to experience your GPT and the others in the store. And then it goes further, GPTs now use our newest flagship model, GPT-40. So this sounds amazing, but let's test it out. So firstly, this is the free version. So I am using a GPT that is made by ChatGPT themselves, which is called Data Analyst. And I did this on the free version and the paid version as well. And then I uploaded the exact same file, which is my own TikTok data. And then I asked it to analyze this. And as you can see, it did a great job. It understood the file that I gave it. And it gave me a summary of the key columns and their content. And it gave me some observations and next steps for analysis, etc. And then as you can see, it asked me, would you like to proceed with any specific analysis or have any particular questions about the data? So that is really good and powerful because I did this on the free version. Now, here are the results from the paid version. So here again, I fed it the same data and I asked it to summarize this. As you can see here, it gave me a preview of the file that I uploaded because I uploaded the exact same file. And then it even gave me two responses. And then it asked me, which response do you prefer? And then here I did the same thing. Here is a summary of the data structure and key information. And on this side, it said, here are the key columns and their descriptions. I actually prefer the one on the left, but as you can see, it did a pretty good job and it is similar to the free version of ChatGPT. So basically it did the same thing, which is great. But here comes the shock. So it asked me if I want to proceed and I said proceed. But as you will see here, it says, it seems like I can't do more advanced data analysis right now. Please try again later. And then below that it says, you've reached your data analysis limit. Upgrade to ChatGPT Plus or try again tomorrow after 10.26 a.m. So that's almost 24 hours a week. Because currently, as I'm recording this, it is 12.36. So as you can see, although it is free, it is really limited. And with this limitation, it's almost impossible to get any real work done. Now let's break down what we get with the free version and the plus version. So as you can see in the free version, it says assistance with writing, problem solving and more. Access to GPT 3.5 and then it says limited access to GPT-4.0. And then it says limited access to advanced data analysis, file uploads, vision, web browsing, and custom GPTs. And then if we look on the plus version, it says up to five times more messages for GPT-4.0. And then it says access to advanced data analysis, file uploads, vision, and web browsing. And then it also includes daily image generation. So the free version does not have image generation. And then with the free version, you cannot create and use your own custom GPT. So you can use custom GPTs, but not your own. So you can't create your own. So it's great that they have added these features to the free version. But as you can see, these limitations make it almost impossible to do any real work. But what I think they are actually doing here is they are using this as a marketing and a sales strategy because they are teasing the free users and showing them what is possible. And I'm pretty sure once the free users get a taste of what they can do, that a lot of them are going to upgrade. But on the other hand, there may be a lot of free users that may be frustrated at these limitations. Let me know if this is going to get you to upgrade to the paid version or not. And if you want to stay up to date with the latest in AI and marketing, sign up for my free newsletter.
you can find the link in my bio. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about ChatGPT and AI, click on this video. Hit the like button if you found this video useful and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I'll see you on the next video.